would like to welcome you today and thank you for being here for the Memorial Stadium Monument Dedication Ceremony. We have many special guests joining us today. However, our most important guests are our veterans and we thank you so very much for being here. Please know that our stadium today is much more than a venue for our children to be team players. This stadium represents you. It represents our veterans. Today, we want to thank you and we want to honor you. And it's, it's my privilege today to introduce Corporal James Crouch and my friend for our prayer. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for being able to gather like this. We thank you for your great love and your saving grace. Let us remember those that made the supreme sacrifice. Lord, pray that our people will honor and respect and protect this, this st statue and may it remind you each time you look at it that there was a supreme price paid for our freedom. an honor to be given the opportunity to create this sculpture. I have sculptures all over the country, like he said, including two in Washington, D.C., but I am most proud of this one. My dad was an Air Force pilot in fighter jet in Vietnam, and I have always wanted to do something to honor him and all our heroes and their families that sacrifice so much that we may live in freedom. We truly are the land of the free because of the brave. May God bless them all. up this memorial stadium project we uh, talked about putting this monument here and I had several uh, community members say well why would you spend that kind of money I think it's the best money I've ever spent in my career as a superintendent because freedom isn't free and this is memorial stadium blood was spilled so that I can stand here and that you could hear what you heard today. So it's very important to me as a superintendent and a board of trustees and, I, and they've allowed us to instill values in our kids and begin the process of extending, instilling some values and one of those is to be proud to be an American. So when people walk into this stadium it is my desire, my hope's desire, that I pray for all the time. That you'll just pause for a second and remember the sacrifice that was made. Mr. Crouch, I think it would be more than appropriate for you to unveil this monument along with these two ladies, Mrs. Bunch and Miss Hernandez. pleasure of introducing Sergeant First Class Davin Marceau to speak to us. Sergeant Marceau, Marceau was, he joined the United States military in August of 2000 and entered Ranger School in a class of 269 and only 17 graduated. And that's what this stadium is all about, sacrifice. 
from the stadium's original construction, but paid respect to soldiers like Sergeant Audie Murphy. Soldiers like Sergeant Gerardo Moreno, Staff Sergeant Sean Ferry, Specialist J.D. Emmert, Staff Sergeant Sean McNabb, and Specialist Joseph Michael Lewis. Much like Sergeant Audie Murphy, they had a passion. A passion to set aside their personal comforts in life and defend their country's beliefs and ways of life. Every three minutes in America, we're losing one of our World War II back then at the rate of 555 a day. Uh, in America. So if you're ever going to shake hands with a World War II veteran, you're ever going to say thank you, it would be appropriate to do it very, uh, very quickly. World War II, over 16 million Americans uh, served in our military. 407,000 Americans were killed in World War II, and 22,000 and 22 of those were Texans. And we don't have a clue, we don't have an idea what kind of a price and sacrifice that our father's generation and our mother's generation paid for us. This is the greatest generation who blazed a trail for us. And I think it's appropriate. You have such a, a memorial. You don't need a whole generation coming behind us, not knowing about the sacrifices that the generation before paid in order for us to have our freedom. Hand on the child's back. That's what soldiers and veterans have done all through the ages, they've had our back. So veterans, this is for those that have gone before you, but it's also for you and the people you, and the friends you lost. So veterans, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope some small way it pays honor to you because that's why we put it together, to honor you. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank you for being here.